to me, the problem with the money and the politics, or, or sort of where it gets problematic, is, is and, or in, the, in the context of actually really polarizing our conversations and polarizing the, the, the Congress, is the special interest groups whose entire existence, and by the way, they're on the left and the right, I'm intimately familiar with the ones on the right, but I've gotten to know some on the left too because I, I work in an issue, LGBT issues, that, that has really been on the left until very recently. Uh, that their entire existence, sometimes the model of these special interest groups, will be based and premised on $40, $50, $60 donations, $25 donations from folks all over the country. And in order for them to continue to hit their budgets and pay for their big buildings and pay for their staff and pay for their lobbyists and pay for everything, they have to continue to drum up interest. And the way they drum up interest is by having enemies and having, not enemies, but bad guys. And they have to let everybody know who the bad guys are. And so they're, they're professional agitators, not for the sake of really getting the ball down the field, but for the sake of continuing their own, you know, to continue to exist in the political system. And, you know, they have to feed the beast. And so they end up oftentimes, these organizations, um, not actually doing the best thing for the issue they supposedly represent, which would, frankly, in most cases, be bipartisan cooperation. <laughs> Um, it would be really, really good if Planned Parenthood and gay, you know, the gay rights had really good Republicans on their side. Like, they need Republican health more than ever right now, I would argue, as a pro-choice Republican. Uh, but it's almost impossible for a Republican to be pro-choice because they will lose their seat. And so there's just no way. And so they, we've created this sort of vicious cycle whereby it's actually very difficult for people like the congressmen who are reasonable people who want to reach across the aisle to do that and, and, and survive a primary challenge because the special interests on both sides have, have so much money that they can put up a challenger and knock them out of office. So there needs to be, if, it's, if money is part of the problem, there needs to be money on the opposite side to defend the good guys, which is, which is part of you know, what, what we try to do in our little super PAC with our little issue, but you need it everywhere.